Hey everyone, my name is Perry. I'm an electrical engineer and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 4 Episode 6 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. Snipe. 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 Whoa. The Sniper Rifle of Science is a pretty awesome name. These long-range precision tools are the Ferraris of the gun world, built for accuracy, power, and the ability to make someone have a very bad day from very far away. The longer the barrel, the more time the bullet has to get comfy before blasting off like a guided missile. Precision rifling inside the barrel gives the bullet that sweet, sweet spin for stability, like a quarterback throwing a perfect spiral. Have you ever played Where's Waldo from a football field away? <laughs> the sniper scope turns tiny specks into clear targets, allowing the soldier to adjust for distance, wind, and the curvature of the earth. Yeah, that's a thing at very, very extreme distances. Snipers don't just yank the trigger like a slot machine. No, it is all about control, breathing, and squeezing it so smoothly that the rifle barely notices. Sniper rounds aren't your standard bullets. They're often heavier, faster, and sometimes even designed to punch through armor. A sniper's job isn't just about shooting, it's about patience. They can sit in one spot for hours, days even, waiting for the perfect moment. Pulling the trigger is just the final act in a long play of math, stealth, and strategy. To be an effective sniper, you need to be calculated, measured, and sometimes border like zen. A sniper with a good rifle is the equivalent of a chess master looking to just checkmate you from a mile away. Unless... Are we talking about the new girl? Because Eno has those demon headphones, right? While Sakura is just walking away with the pink hair, not blonde? I'm willing to bet that this girl goes head over heels for Sasuke by the end of the episode. Sasuke, Senku! That's super cool! So the copper coil, while, you know, a current is going through it, generates a magnetic field, and the iron rod concentrates this field by magnetizing itself, and the resultant device we have here is an electromagnet. Ozone is chemically represented as O3. Oxygen is naturally occurring at O2. The plan here is to increase energy, breaking the oxygen molecules apart, and then making them more unstable, forcing them to bond together as ozone, or O3. To generate ozone using electricity, a high voltage current is passed through a gas containing oxygen. Typically, the air around us will do just fine. This process is most commonly achieved through a corona discharge, where a high voltage is applied between electrodes in close proximity, creating a localized area of high electric field that generates the ozone. The Soft cream, I thought that he was gonna make liquid nitrogen ice cream. This is soft serve. Imagine regular ice cream went on vacation, loosened up a little bit, and decided life is better when you're light, fluffy, and served in a glorious gravity-defying swirl. That's soft serve, ice cream's cool, carefree cousin that doesn't need to be scooped up with the strength of a Viking warrior. Normal ice cream is 20% air versus soft serve being 60% air, making it fluffier, smoother, and easier to eat in embarrassingly large amounts. Unlike hard ice cream, which is stored at sub-zero temperatures that make it rock solid, soft serve likes to hang out at a mild negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 25 degrees Fahrenheit, staying smooth and ready to swirl on command. Liquid nitrogen, on the other hand, is a negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit cryogenic nightmare fuel that can flash freeze anything in seconds. Scientists use it to preserve cells, remove warts, and then one guy looked at it and said, I want the instant gratification of desserts. The result? Someone pours what looks like sci-fi fog into a bowl of cream, sugar, and instant ultra-smooth ice cream. This species of ice cream melts 
fast. One minute you're holding a masterpiece of molecular gastronomy, the next you're in a sticky sugar crisis as it liquefies at record speed. It's like the Cinderella of desserts. It is perfect for a moment and then, then, then... <laughs> That is something that really, really impressed me. The picture that they use for the documentation is the same format as engineering learning modules. This is how official engineering documents are formatted. The only thing missing here is a title for the photo. The figures are numerically assigned and they need to all be labeled as well as any graphs or charts so that they can be quick references in the appendix. This is especially cool for me because I worked on some of the hardware for an autonomous space shuttle for NASA for four years. I really want to know what they're going to do next. They're going to build a rocket? The tagline is also really cool because elegant isn't so far off from exhilarating and now we know where Senko gets his iconic quote from. I had incredible mentors while working on the NASA project. These are some of the most intelligent, these are god engineers. I don't even know how they know what they know and the scientists were just brilliant. This is really cool because it hits so close to home for me on so many fronts, professionally and personally and it even... How many of you guys have heard of Max Talmy? Max Talmy was a Lithuanian-born American ophthalmologist, best known for his work in treating cataracts. When he was 21 years old, he met a 10-year-old boy who he closely mentored, even having lunch with a young man's family once every week for five years. Talmy is quoted saying, This boy had read an unusually difficult mathematical text in just two months, whereas adult students require years for the same task. No one quite understood this deep connection that Talmy had with this random 10-year-old kid, but he was being mentored in physics, mathematics, philosophy, any textbook that Talmy could pass on, he did. While Talmy knew him as this kid he was mentoring, the world would come to know that boy as Albert Einstein. 